Are you ready yet? And not one beer can was harmed in the filming of this video. Have you subscribed and hit the bell button? Do it. How good does that look? That is a good sign. Charcoal chicken, it's all about the skin. Mm. That should be illegal. Hi, welcome to Shuey's Barbecue, where you'll learn the tips and tricks to master your grill. Today, I'm gonna to be roasting a whole chook. Now for the boring stuff. Don't forget, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your mates, and leave me a comment down below. And join the Facebook group, and get on my Instagram to see all the extra content and giveaways. But the most important thing you can do is hit that subscribe button and the bell button, and that way you'll get notified every time I upload new content. So, with all that out of the way, let's get into it. Selecting a chicken for roasting. Do you go for size, organic, grow your own, or go and see a farmer? It doesn't matter as long as you stop buying the overcooked dried chicken that you get from a supermarket. You'll do. In saying that, I grabbed this 1.7 kilogram antibiotic free chicken that lived its life in a resort style complex for the rich and famous. Well, you know, if it makes you feel any better, you can think that. Okay, so I want to truss this chicken up and that all that includes is we're tying it in so the outer limbs, the wings and the legs are held closer to the body and that way it'll just all cook a lot more evenly. So using some butcher's twine, start at the neck, fold it over the wings and that'll hold them in and then come under the breast and We just want to make a knot that'll pull it all close. I will spin it around so you can see what I've done. So butcher's twine is there. As you can see, it's holding the wings in nice and close to the body. So I might just do another knot. They're not in any way, shape or form think I'm great at knots, but that'll do. Bring the legs in, and this is not the easiest doing it backwards. So you want to have the little legs cross over. I probably should have got my knot ready. Uh, cross, there we go. Hopefully that holds for me. And I'll do one more knot. And that's it. Trim off the excess. Now onto the seasoning. As always, I've made up my own rub and it will be in the description. Now by all means, you can use whatever seasoning you want, but that just means you're not trusting me. I will start off by putting the chicken on a rack breast side down, and we are just going to coat it with some rice bran oil. Um, it's got a high smoke point, so that's why I like to use it. Once the back's got some oil on it, you just wanna get the rub, and from a distance of about 30 centimeters, as always, just allows the particles to fall out nice and evenly. Now find with chicken, because you might find some that's going to fall off, just put on plenty. I mean, you don't get nuts, but definitely I like to put on a little bit more than I normally would on others. Now you just need to flip it over and we will do the breast side and do it exactly the same. Bit of oil and some seasoning. Done. Oh, and if you're one of those freaks that loves shoving a beer can up a chook's bum, stop it. It doesn't belong there. Beer's for drinking. Stop shoving it up a chook's poop chute. 
I'm going with a standard roasting setup today with a little bit of a twist. I'm going to be using a 57 centimetre Weber kettle with a double sided JG barbecue offset plate. And all this does is allow that heat to be less direct while cooking the chicken. Now if you don't have one, the standard two basket roasting setup will do just as fine. So I'll start by lighting up a full chimney starter of fuel. I'm using briquettes today. And I'll bring your baskets together and dump the fuel into them. Then you just want to move the charcoal baskets to either end of the charcoal grate and put in the double offset plate. Ah, oh, without hurting your ears. Beautiful. Now just throw the grill back on and put the lid on, making sure all the vents are wide open. Give that about 10 minutes to warm up. All right, it's been 10 minutes, so that Weber and the offset plate should be plenty warm now. We can get this chook on. So we're just gonna place the chicken in between the two charcoal baskets on the cooking grate. Now look how comfy and relaxed that chicken looks. That's because it doesn't have a beer can shoved up its bum. Only thing left to do is put the lid on, vents stay wide open, one vent to the side of the chicken over one of the baskets and that draws the heat across here. If you put the vent here or here, you're gonna find it'll burn one end of the chicken. I'll leave that in there for about an hour. I won't even look at it. What I'm chasing is 74 degrees Celsius in the breast. So, beer time. Now, it's been about half an hour, so all we're gonna do is change the lid and put the vent on the opposite side of the chicken just so we get a nice even cook. We are roasting at a high indirect heat of around 240 degrees Celsius today. Now this chook will take about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half to cook. Or for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a three beer cook. All right, the bird should be ready now. And the only way to check is with a thermometer. He can ask it if you want. I just don't think it's gonna answer back. Are you ready yet? So we're just going to check the internal temp of the breast and once it hits 74 degrees, it's time to get it off. And when I say get it off, I mean get it off the heat. I don't know what you beer can chicken people are thinking. There we go. Now the chicken's worked hard for you. Actually, in fact, it's done nothing for you, but it still needs a rest. So we're gonna leave it alone for about 10 or 15 minutes. You want it to have dinner with it, so give it the time to rest, and that way you'll have a nice special time later on with it. Oi, beer keen chicken people, get your mind out of the gutter. That was a harmless joke. That's it, roast chicken cooked in the Weber kettle and not one beer can was harmed in the filming of this video. How good does that look? That is a good sign. I know I say this every week, but that should be illegal.